as part of my evil little efforts to convert you into one of my soap making friends, I'm going to show you how I make this non-binary soap. Now this fragrance, it smells like hugs from someone who accepts you completely. And I've added it to a high performance oil base. Now, when you add a lye solution like this to an oil base in just the right ratio, you trigger a chemical process called what? Yep, saponification. Within which all of your lye and most of your oils, they turn into soap. Now, I had a very clear vision of what I wanted this soap to look like. And for that to happen, I needed the uncolored portion of my soap batter to be very thin and the colored portion to be just a little bit thicker. Here you see me pouring my uncolored soap base. And now I'm adding a little titanium dioxide to it because, you know, I want to complicate this with yet another color. And as I'm dropping my colors into that soap base, I want them to look like drips and I want them to outline one another. I don't know how to explain that. You'll just have to see when you see the cut. Now, as I continue pouring, that soap batter is getting thicker and thicker and it's just laying on top of the soap. I wanted that too. So that there are drips of color within the soap and then layers of color on top of the soap. And finally, I used this black mica from Hemway because I didn't want to use activated charcoal. And I wanted to make a little swirl on top of the soap using the non-binary colors. Look, I did it. Uh, I really need you to be my soap making friend so that you can appreciate how hard it is to do this.